All right, so we're out here on Walking Street during the national holiday, and it's absolutely crazy out here. Like, look at this. Alright, we're up at the boat right now, so I'm estimating there's, I don't know, a couple hundred thousand, I'm thinking like one billion people up here. <laughs> it's just nuts, man. But last year, people told me not to travel, didn't take their advice. This year, people told me not to travel, didn't take their advice. And I actually enjoy this. Um, Just gotta be mindful of your stuff, keep all your shit in your backpack or whatnot, or keep your hands in your pockets, whatever. Whatever you gotta do, that's the only thing that I worry about is like my shit getting stolen, but other than that, man, um, it's not too bad. People just over exaggerate it. All right, now we're gonna go selfie stick hunting. All right, so now we're coming back from the bun and uh, it started pouring out. Everybody just crowded into this mall real quick, and so did we likewise, because we're one block away from getting to the subway. Pretty eventful night tonight so far, and how'd you like it? It was good. It was fun. Definitely something to see. Yeah, we literally might be stuck here a while, because we just have to get across the street, but I am not running across the street with all my gear. And it is pouring hell rain right now. So what we're going to do, as soon as that little man on the crosswalk sign turns green, we're gonna make a damn run for it. And just like everybody else, it might be just chaotic. Five, four, three, two, one, go. So my camera is like soaked now. I can't even focus right now, hold on. <laughs> All right, so we made it, cleared off the camera, but now we're screwed because the subway is closed. Now we gotta pay like 20 times more for a taxi, so we gotta try to hail a taxi in this rain. All right, so now we've been stuck in this little doorway for about, I don't know how, how long, it's been like a half hour now, and the rain's not getting much better, and all the cabs have waved us off, but I put my other camera away, so I'm on my phone now. It's kind of difficult because Every time we would uh, get a cab that had the green light to go to like pick people up, uh, we got waved off like three different times. So uh, for us to try to get a cab to come over here and then run out into the rain and then a chance to get waved off to get soaked again, uh, I don't know if it's worth it or not. So now we just got out of the rain and the rain kind of died down a little bit and now we went to this little hole in the wall shop which typically when it's a little hole in the wall it's got the best food and we ordered some wontons, wild vegetable and meat wontons, 12 five for 12 of them. Alright so I'm going to try and we're going to see how this tastes. Looks pretty good actually. Really hot but so delicious. One more left. Can I do it? Look at that. Woo. Can I do it? Mmm. All right, welcome back, guys. My battery died last night, but today we are going to Wukong Road, which is like the historical road here in Shanghai and City of God Temple. We don't know really where to go. It's just off Subway Line 10. We know the stop, but the directions said walk 10 minutes but no direction so um, hopefully you can find it based on instinct yeah so let's just go do this and uh, follow along All right, I was doing too much filming and not enough paying attention. We went like five stops too far before we realized we were going the wrong way. Now we are almost there. We're three stops away from the Shanghai Library. We will be going to wherever. I don't, I don't even remember anymore.
All right, so now we just got into a little like tuck tuck thing. And <laughs> holy shit. Now we just got into this little tuck tuck and we're going to Wukan Loop, uh, which is Wukan Road and it's that historic place. So yeah, this is pretty fun. Oh shit. I better watch out with this glide cam because we get so close to the cars that I'm hanging off the edge of the tuk-tuk with this and I'm about to nick somebody's side mirror so I gotta watch out. Okay, so right now we are on the road, but it doesn't look like the part that we need to go to so he's going to drop us off further down. All right, so we've reached our destination. Now let's check this out and see what happens. All right, so I think we're here so we're going to explore this place and uh, looks pretty modern actually. So I actually don't even know. I didn't really read up on this place. So I don't even know what it's all about. I just, read that it's historic and the architecture isn't typical Chinese um, maybe I'll figure it out and <laughs> let you guys know what it's all about All right, so here we are and walking down this street, it feels very European and it's extremely quiet. Very elegant compared to other parts of China. Yeah, I really like it. I like the trees that go over the streets and kind of make like a, like a little cave for you to go through. But yeah, if you want to go for a nice walk through a part of China that's relatively quiet, I definitely recommend this. It's really nice. Wow, that's big. <laughs> it's like a 360 sphere screen. So let's go up closer and check it out. All right, so now we're in the big globe thing and not to my surprise, it's a huge shopping mall with a bunch of high-end shops and places to eat. All right, but now let's go to the top and let's see if we can maybe see out of it and see what it looks like from inside out. We are in here non-stop. Non stops, first to bottom, bottom to top. Let's go down one more time. <laughs> we are just the dumb foreigners, like, so, like, enthused and so enthralled by this elevator. Those, those people eating dinner are probably like, what? <laughs> <laughs> there was people eating dinner right outside the elevator door. Like, right outside, and their table is right here. And they looked at us, like, three different times coming to here. Actually, it is kind of cool to see out and then also see the advertisements playing, but uh, just a whole shit ton of LEDs. So now we are on our way to a temple and it's not the first one that I talked about, it's a different one, but um, it might already be closed, but we don't know. So we're just gonna try because we just decided last minute to go to this temple. So uh, we'll see how it is. All right, just as I suspected, it's closed. It closes at five. It costs 50 yen to get in, but as you can tell, it's absolutely gorgeous. It looks very beautiful, but the thing that kind of gripes me is like on the outside, like on the perimeter of it, there's all these little shops like built right into it. So it kind of cheapens it. And when you think of something historic like a temple, you kind of think maybe it might be out in the countryside. But I mean, there are obviously, but uh, I guess they're also right smack dab in the middle of the city. Something super cool I just observed is that up here it's like a running track. You got that playground rubber down here and it goes all the way around in a circle. As you can tell, these guys right here, they're running the track right now. But uh, it's right above the 
It's supposed to be the walkway to get across the street. But I just thought that was really cool. If I was like around here, if I lived around here, I'd definitely be up here just <laughs> getting my cardio in for the day. So you wouldn't even need to like bike around the city or whatnot. I mean, I probably still would because I love biking, but uh, you need to go for a run. This is perfect. Just do laps around here and uh, <laughs> you're good to go. It's like a free gym with all the pollution, but uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, so after 30,000 steps with the pedometer that we walked today, we are dead tired and we are going back to the hotel. It seems like we walked everywhere, but we're only in the same district. I mean, we took the subway line everywhere, but uh, we ended up back in the same district next to our hotel. So yeah, so that's the end of this and uh, see you next time. Bye.